Hey YouTube, ID for Kanye here, and today we have the Kia EV6 rear-wheel drive long range. And uh, this video is all about the multi-speed consumption test. We were driving 90, 100, 120, and 130 uh, to see what consumption will be with each speed. Also, before we start the tires, we have Nexans 235, 55, 19, 19-inch. Uh, which one are these? These are Nexans Nefra Sport EV tires and it should be the same at the back because we have a square setup. So 235, 55, 19. Let's go this time for real. Let's go. We are heading to the 90 km per hour stretch, or at least the starting point. I am lowering my speed to 93, and I will be resetting my uh, information in 3, 2, 1, now. Well, we are heading to the first uh, end of the first leg, I mean, uh, current consumption 145 watt hour per kilometer state of charge 84 all the brake regeneration uh, i won't really taking with me i will just drive to uh, back to the highway go 90 and then press the reset button and then we will know what the consumption will be on the return trip i mean that sound is fun Acceleration sounds. <laughs> I put it on loud so you may hear it. But not now. Um, let's see, do we have a reset? 93. And I am resetting right now. We are coming to the end of the second leg of the 90 km per hour consumption test with the Kia EV6 rear wheel drive long range. Uh, and our consumption on the second trip is 140, 150 watt hour per kilometer. It just jumped before the line. We are starting our 100 km per hour uh, consumption test with the Kia EV6 and this is uh, the starting point of the first leg. But uh, I will stop at this gas station because it's the 4th of May and we will take a silence, a minute silence at 8 o'clock and I have 3 minutes left so I will just wait a few minutes and then drive again so. So here we are driving and this time we will be driving 100, a little bit shorter, but it's all right. Temperature is still 13 degrees Celsius, 74 state of charge and our consumption for 100 km per hour leg one, part one is 174 watt hour per kilometer. So this is the end of the second part of 100 km per hour and our consumption is 176 watt hour per kilometer. Great, great. We are starting our 120 km per hour 
trip consumption test part one we are coming to the end of the first leg of 100 km per on the 20 km per hour and our consumption is 223 watt hour per kilometer we are coming to the end of the second leg of the 100 km per hour and our consumption is 220 Three. Now we are starting our 130 test right now. We are coming to the end of the first part of the 130 km per hour consumption test and our average is 232. We are coming to the end of the 130 km per hour part 2 and our consumption is 243. Four. 244 Normally this will be the end of the multi-speed consumption test But I would like to combine it with the Amsterdam circle test because it's in the end a consumption test but in daylight uh, Because the multi-speed happens always in the evening night and so the temperature is always dropping currently it's 16 degrees out there Sun so our consumption could be a bit lower at 100 than we did with the uh, military speed time. This is the start point. Well, here we are starting or starting point. This is 33.01.0 right now. Let's see what the consumption will be. As usual, we're driving in normal mode. AC is on. Cruise control at 104 and let's go we are coming to the end of the Amsterdam circle test 32.9 33.0 and 1 and we are at 151 watt hour per kilometer all right not bad not bad so thanks for watching that were the multi-speed consumption test and the Amsterdam circle test and it should be around the same but you will never know. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe here below, and I will see you again in my next video. Later!